Hey everybody, welcome back to another episode on the Hermitcraft Season 6 server. Hope you guys are all doing well today. I'm doing fantastic. Today's episode 133, and I've got a pretty awesome episode planned for you. But first, before we get into the episode, we need to do a question of the day. If you want to send me your questions of the day, make sure you hit me up on Twitter at iJevin. Otherwise... If you could change one thing about Hermitcraft, and it can be anything in the world, what would you change and why? Let me know down in the comment section below. If you guys enjoy this series and you want to see more, make sure you hit the like button and subscribe. Turn those notifications when the videos come out. Let's get into it. All right, guys, we start today's episode off flying around. We're actually going to be checking out our shops real fast. Haven't been over here in quite a while. Just want to see if I've sold anything. Oh, holy crap. Dude, 55 diamonds. I'll take it. Making a profit, baby. Making a profit. Anyways, we got to head over to the Statue of Humanity today. We are going to be purchasing some mob heads for the starting of the projects that we're going to be doing. Uh, these are all new. What are these? What are these? I don't know what these. Oh, my God. Those are adorable. Look at those. Oh, those are so cute. <laughs> oh, my God. Concrete. I got to see these, too. Hold on. Wow, that's dude. X has outdone himself. I sh I don't know if he made it or not, but that's so cool. Anyways, you know, in the old mafia movies where when the mafia tries to get rid of somebody, they don't really kill them. They just put the concrete around their ankles. Well, that's the theme for the aquarium, right? So what I'm going to do is I'm going to purchase some mob heads. There we go. And I think I might put some of those ores in or galore. And I want to buy some hermit heads now. How do I want to do this right? Because I don't want to be like, I don't want to pick based on popularity because that's kind of mean, but I kind of have to. So to me, one of the prominent members of the other team is Doc M. So let's buy Doc M head. Who else do we got? We've got just Assassin, XB, Etho, Mumbo, me, Impulse, Rendog, and... Eh. None of those members really stand out enough. I think we're probably going to have to do X. Actually, you know what? Let's do Foss. Yeah, let's do Foss instead. I like Foss. So there's Foss. All right, let's grab one of those heads. Perfect. So I think I've got everything that I need. So let's go ahead and head over to the aquarium now because my idea is going to be pretty simple, actually, but I think it's going to work very, very well. So I had to think of something that would be considered very, very heavy. And I got to thinking that the best item for that would be an iron block. So I got some iron fences and some iron blocks, and we're going to try to make it look like, oh crap, you know what? We got to go back to the base real fast. We got to uh, grab some armor. Um, we'll just grab some iron. There we go. Let's grab a little bit more. Let's just quickly make two chest plates, two leggings. There we go. So what we got to try to do is we're going to try to use armor stands and make it look like they're drowning underwater. It's going to be pretty cool. I think you guys are going to like it. There we go. So now let's go downstairs. Guys, I actually know my way around this base a little bit now. Pretty crazy. People are doing things. Hello, Mr. Skull. So downstairs we go. There we go. All right. So um, the, I'm assuming this is the aquarium, right? Like that makes sense. It's pretty big inside of there. So let's grab soap touch and I'll just go in from right here. There we go. Fill that back in. So uh, actually, you know what? It may even be better for us to work on the stands out here. So let's go ahead and grab a stand, grab a book, and I am going to turn hostile sounds off because that's going to drive me insane. Uh, there we go. All right. So you, and then let's give it a head there and then some armor there and then some booties. All right, cool. Perfect. So now let's go ahead, check target. Perfect. And then we want to show arms. Yes. Uh, show base play. Oh, I'm getting probably attacked by a slime. 
Who put who picked the chimes? The, I can't talk today. Who picked the slime chunk to build a base in? Come on, guys. Get with the program here. No. <laughs> All right. So we've got arms. We do not want to show base plates. So no. And then uh, do we want it to be affected by gravity? No. Stay invisible. OK, so here's what I want to do. I want sort of almost like their arms reaching into the air. No, that's not going to work. Um, Joyous might work. Oh, that could totally work. Hold on. Uh, Confused. No, that's not going to work. There's got to be a better one, right? Sad death. What's death? Oh, God, that's weird. Uh, Running. Did it not? Let's try that again. Running. OK, basically what I want is I want the arms kind of sticking up in the air, maybe winning. Yes, I guess I'm not close enough. Winning. There we go. That might work. I might have to adjust it from there. But what I want to do is, is I want to come in here and then let me grab this and this. And so what I'm going to do is I'm going to put like an iron block like kind of in the ground here, like right there. And then from there, I'm going to use an iron bar and I've got buckets in here and we'll waterlog those iron bars. I hope that the fences or the, the stands go in there. Well, are you serious? This isn't. Oh, no, this isn't a source. All right, guys, now I am working to get the final armor stand into position. This one is Doc M and we are just going to nudge him over until he's pretty much on top of it. Now, I had to make a compromise that I didn't really want to make, but I kind of had to. Now, I could either show base plate and show arms. So if you do base plate or stand, it shows arms. Arms are more drowning ish, right? No arms, but there's no stand either. So I had to make a compromise on which one I wanted to do. Um, so for now, I'm not showing the stand. But if you guys think that I should, let me know. There we go. So we're just about in place. I got all the mannerisms and everything already set up. There we go. I might have to nudge that over just a tiny bit. Let me get some of my air bubbles back real fast. There we go. So let's go ahead. I think we should probably nudge that. Um, let's say point one should do it. Perfect. Maybe even nudge it down the Y axis just a little bit. There we go. So now I've got false over here drowning tied down and I've got Doc tied down inside of here. So the game plan is to um, kind of make this aquarium like an actual aquarium. So I'm not sure if they want me to do sand, but I'm going to do sand in the bottom. Let me actually go grab my shocker box. I got sand in here. I'm not sure that that's going to be enough now seeing the base of that. Yo, we need some conduit power in here, guys. Get with the games, people. No. So let me remove some of this. I'm going to put sand in here and see how it looks and see if they are okay with it. Make sure I grab all these blocks real fast. But um, I hope that's okay. You know, this is a community project, so we do got to keep in mind because, you know, everybody else is putting in work, too, so. I want to make this look as best as possible. And to do so, I need to be able to use my own blocks here, people. I don't think I'm going to have enough sand, though. Oh, definitely not. All right, let's go ahead and start placing this down. Um, I brought. Oh, OK. I, on top of the sand, I've got bone meal. And then, oh, I just realized I forgot uh, pickles. I need to go and grab pickles and more sand real fast. You know what? I'll probably have enough sand. There we go. Let me get out of here to get some more air. Phew. <laughs> Cutting it close, man. Cutting it close. Okay. Fill all that in. 
Uh, not going to have enough. Okay, anyway, so the point is, let me come over here. So I, I definitely need to go get pickles for lighting. There we go. And then I'm going to use a little bit of bone meal. But we're not going to use a ton of bone meal, remember. So... Now let's get rid of some of this. Kind of keep it a little light in here. Get rid of a tall one. A tall one there. I think that'll that'll do once we have that fixed. Then a little bit of coral. Right there, right there, right there. And then, so let me finish this up. I'll come back and we'll do a final look too. All right, guys, so inside we've got doc chained up we've got false chained up then i went through and added pickles and coral and kelp oh my voice <laughs> pickles corals and kelp we should be good to go if they don't like it we can change it it's not a big deal but the only thing left is to put the glass back and fix the concrete there there and there all right so i think that the aquarium is pretty much finished now so for our next project that we're going to be doing, I want to finish up some stuff with potions. So a long time ago, let me put all this away. A long time ago, we went to the end because we needed to get lingering potions. So it never really occurred to me, but you guys left some awesome comments letting me know that I should definitely, definitely make lingering potions. So... What we're going to end up doing is making some tipped arrows, I think. But I don't know which ones I want to make. So what we need to do is I need to stop in here and see how many arrows I have first. Not a lot. See, I need I need a lot more arrows than that. So let me check in my storage and everything. And I'll meet you guys over at the potion factory. All right, guys, I think I've got everything I need. So let's go ahead and start off by seeing which potions would be the best to brew. So let's put three in here. I think we're going to start off with, I'm going to try to do slowness, harming, and poison. Now, if I remember correctly, poison is just a fermented spider eye. The other two that I want to do require like backwards potions almost. So let's put some ward in there for that. There we go. So then for potion of slowness, I know for a fact we need a potion of speed then I think it requires that. Now, the other one that I wanna do, which is, let's see, we're doing poison. I'm trying to think of the other one that I wanted to make. Maybe a potion of weakness? Oh, I see. So I think that goes in there now. Um, actually, that doesn't go in there. You know what? I think I know what I'm doing wrong here. I think we wanna make potion of poison like this. And then so, oh, okay. Put a potion of speed in there, okay. And then so this one will turn into potion of poison. And if we wanna do it from there, we can turn that into potion of harming. So potion of weakness, I guess potion, I guess both of them would be pretty good. Okay, so those are potions of poison. So if I put that in there, that turns into potion of harming. So those turn into potion of speed. Now, if I use a fermented spider eye, wait, what? <sighs> so annoying. So those are mundane. Oh, those are mundane potions. Maybe I grabbed the wrong ones then. Mundane. Oh, yeah, I definitely grabbed the wrong ones. Whoops. <laughs> Put those in there and turn those back into the ones we need. So those are potions of harming, potion of weakness. So... Potion of Weakness was just um, a fermented spider eye. So then we would probably want to boost that. So put that in there. So then same with this one, instant damage. We would 100% want to make that splash because I think you have to make it splash before you can make it lingering. So awkward potions, so now we would put our sugar in there. There we go. It's been a while since I've made bad potions. So, so I mean, if we wanted to, we could do all four. Um, so potion of weakness, four minutes, put those in there. And then I'm trying to think. So potion of poison, potion of weakness, 
Potion of Harming, and then Potion of Slowness. Slowness may not matter. I'm deciding on whether or not I want to do a slowness still. So there's Potion of Swiftness. We put the Fermented Spider Eye in there. So now I have some Dragon's Breath, not a lot. So these are Splash Potions. Put those in there. First time ever making Lingering Potions, by the way. So Instant Damage. We definitely want Instant Damage. I wonder if those can actually go on there. Oh, I can. How about that? Okay. And then that's going to finish. So then that's Potion of Slowness. So we have Potion of Weakness. I think I don't want to use Slowness. I think I want to use Poison instead. So I think Poison is going to be a better potion for this. So Potion of Poison is pretty simple. It's just Nether Warts and then a Spider Eye. So grab that. So I think these are going to be our final lineup potions. Just these three. We don't want to overdo it, right? Like, not do we not want to overdo it, but what I mean is, is that we don't want to spend too many potions because we don't have a lot of arrows. So now I should be able to put this in the middle, wrap arrows around that. Oh, so you can't make potions. Oh, no, you can. Server's just really, really laggy right now. Try that again. So there's some potions or arrows of weakness. And then we've got awkward potion. Let's go here. And then let's take our instant damage. Same with this. There. Oh, this is going to be good, guys. Oh, yeah, this is going to be real good. <laughs> oh, this is going to be evil. Perfect. All right. So I think potion of poison, potion of harming or not potion of harming, but these arrows of each. And then if this is only a minute. Oh, yeah. So we definitely, definitely want to boost that one. Let me grab my redstone. That's like nothing. That's crazy. Anyways, so I know exactly what I want to make now. I'm going to divvy up all the arrows evenly and I'm going to get to work. All right, guys. So I am just finishing up all of our potions now. Uh, I was actually thinking it might be pretty beneficial to add another potion into our setup over at the G-Team headquarters. Um, I don't know. I just think that potion of slow falling would be something that like probably the entire team could benefit from. The only problem is, is that I don't really have any more gunpowder. I feel like four pieces. That's it. So anyway, so let's go ahead and make the rest of these potions real fast. There we go. So this takes a minute, but I've got a I got a lot of these arrows finished. Uh, hello. Server's lagging so bad today for me. There we go. Lots and lots of tipped arrow potions. These uh these arrows are amazing. I need to start crafting these more often, by the way. Just start hitting people with them. Why did you poison me? Cuz I wanted to. I pity the fool. There we go. Put some more arrows in there. So we've, I ended up with, it's going to be about three to three and a half stacks, maybe even four stacks for some of these of each. There we go. There we go. Fantastic. All right, put these in here. So four stacks of those. Then we have a bunch of regular arrows here. Now, the only question is, did I? Oh, I missed some too. There we go. <laughs> Let's make a little bit more. Uh, grab those. Okay. So, we have quite a bit of arrows made up now. There we go. And so, do that. Okay. Fantastic. Put those in there. So, do I have any other gunpowder? I need at least nine pieces so I can do actually I would need way more than that no I don't think we're going to be able to do potion of slow falling uh, otherwise we'll have to do it another day basically yeah I think so all right let me grab my other pickaxe real fast you and you and then let's take these over to the armory over there hmm. I wonder you know what 
There might actually be gunpowder in the base. If so, then I can totally craft some. So. inside we go so I think what I'll do is I'll probably end up putting these arrows in the armory but we should probably make a bow section too Let's see if I can't find some gunpowder in here somewhere I need like at least 27 there's two there's 11 Nothing there. I doubt there would be any in any of these, right? Oh, there's three more. <laughs> We're making our way there, guys. I don't have I don't have any gunpowder at the base whatsoever. Nothing there. Nope. Nope. Come on. Plus. Pretty plus with a plus on top. Man, there's just nothing. Okay. Nothing in there. What's over here? Darn it. Okay. Let's go down. So I think I'm going to put these in here. And I think for now... Uh, for now, I'm going to put them here. But I will find a better spot for this, I think. Um, but yeah, I think what I'm probably going to do is go ahead and end the episode there, guys. I know we didn't get a lot done today, but those potions, man, they are, uh, they're kind of tough to craft, to be honest with you. So, anyways, I hope everybody has a great day. This is iJevin. Peace out.